Okay, so we're on number 28, and they talk about the, um, the uh, tangent of the arc cosine of x. And, you know, for the most part, it, they're not easy to do, by the way. It's almost as if, could you really confuse someone with this? You could. But again, I want to point out the invertible region of the arc cosine is going to be between 0 and pi. Right? And, and certainly, I'm looking at that, and I, I, I think I keep it in the back of my mind, but they, they say about using appropriate right triangles. So what I want to do is I want to talk about, you know, there's going to be an angle over here. And I'm going to call this the angle here theta. I'll write this down for you. But I'm going to use a right triangle for it. And I'll say this is theta. And again, this thing in highlighted in red is the angle theta. What do I know the ratio is? It's x, and that would be a 1. All right, what do you get over here? Let's take a look at it. Pythagorean theorem, relatively simple. It's going to be 1 minus x squared. All right? Now, someone says, why did you do that? I did that to find a tangent. And what would the tangent be? The tangent would be the opposite, which would be the root of 1 minus x squared over x. Now, someone says, I wonder if that really uh, is true. Now, if you look at the tangent function, the tangent function is going to look like this over here, right? Relatively simple. And over here, it's going to look like this. All right? So what are we covering over here, this over here? And it certainly stands to reason because the x we know is between minus 1 and 1. Here's the problem, though. x can't be 0. All right, can't be 0. All right, x can't be 0. So I'm going to this over here. I'm going to say x must be between minus 1 and 1, but the x cannot equal 0. For example, the arc um, cosine of um, 0 would be um, asymptotic for the tangent. All right, look at the key. We do see this, and we do see this being specified over here. Thank you.